Hello and welcome to the series of micro learnings on test plan management in SAP Solution Manager 7.2. My name is Shruti and I am a focus advisor with the Application Lifecycle Management Value Map. In the next couple of micro learnings, we'll take a look at creating a test plan, selecting test cases, creating test packages, sequencing tests, and assigning testers. Let us now take a look at this in Solution Manager system. There are a couple of ways in which you can create a test plan. Uh, you can create it from the analysis results of either BPCA or SEA. For example, open any of the completed analysis here. Go to page details test management. A test plan can be created from here. The other way of creating test plan is to directly go to the Fiori tile test plan management and a test plan can be created from here. A test plan is a set of all test cases which you need for a specific test phase. They can compromise the following objects. It could be manual test cases. It could be test configurations such as ECAT, composite tests, and all registered third-party test tools. And it could also be executables. Let's now start filling out the general data. Enter uh, test plan ID. This is the identifier of your test plan, and this must be unique in your solution manager system. Naming convention can help to organize test plans and user access via authorization checks. Provide a description and a person responsible. By default, the current user will be selected as the responsible person. Under solution documentation, select the solution branch and view to which the test plan belongs. This selection can be changed until a first test package or test sequence is created for the test plan. If you're changing the selection, this will reset the hierarchy and potential selection of the test cases are ready to be performed. The system rule ID defines the systems in which the test plan is to be executed. When you change the system rule, the display of systems under system landscape is updated. This affects the target system where the test is to be executed. Under the system landscape, you can see the combination of the system landscape defined in the solution and on the system rule ID, which defines the system landscape. Both are selected under system documentation. Under creation or change, the date and timestamp for creation and change are displayed along with the person who has made the change. You can also see here if there were any changes in the process documentation since last update of the test plan. Moving on to the next tab, just settings. In the settings tab, you define the release information and further attributes for the test plan. The release status determines which actions can be performed on the test plan. This depends on the release schema. There are some default schema, release schema provided by SAP, but you can create a own release schema as required. In the attributes section, uh, you define the values for executables in test case selection. There could be three values here. The first one is show test cases only. This means the executables cannot be selected in the test plan if there is no test case associated with them. So a tester cannot test the executable without a test case. The second option is show executable when test case is missing. 
This means that if an executable is available but no test case is assigned, the executable can still be selected for execution and a tester can test the executable. The last option is show test cases and executables. Here executables with, without associated test cases are handled as in the previous option. Executables and associated test cases are available and can be selected for execution. Only released document allowed, uh, allowed. This defines whether the test documents are considered in the test plan or not. If this flag is checked, documents which have uh, status different from released are ignored. Test classification assigns the test plan to a category. A test set can be defined in the customizing for SAP solution manager. This does not impact the test plan as such, but in reporting, uh, for example, you can use it as a filter criteria so that you can easily run reports for all test plans that are assigned to the team's same test set. The document type for test note or test results defines the document type that can be created during the test execution. You can provide the planning level, a test plan package or test case. Uh, provide the planned start date and end date. Under test plan attachments, you can also directly create or assign attachments to the test plan. You can either upload uh, from a local source or create from a template. In the next video, we'll take a look at test case selection, sequencing, and creating packages. Thank you for your time. I'll see you again soon.